Hi, I'm Lynn. This is Dave. We're the NC Beer Guys. We drink beer produced here in North Carolina and provide our opinions with them here on our web blog. Also on our website, ncbeerguys.com. Remember, drink local and keep your beer dollars in North Carolina. We're pleased to have a guest with us today. John Smankowitz is an attorney here in Raleigh. He's also a previously a chemical engineer by training and he's a home brewer and we enjoyed our past conversation with him about uh, beer and home brewing and we asked him to sit in with us today and we're glad to have you John. Yep, glad to be here. Hey all. Today we're going to drink and review two beers out of the Mystery Brewing Company of Hillsboro. Uh, since 2012, Mystery Brewing's mission has been to create a cornucopia of high quality, small batch, rustic ales for the discriminating consumer and to test the boundaries of creativity and style. The founder, CEO, and head brewer is Eric Garth Myers, author of the book, North Carolina Craft Beers and Breweries. Be sure to visit with Eric and the folks out in Mystery when you're next in Hillsboro. And the new public house tap room is at 230 South Nash Street in Hillsboro. Mystery is a seasonal only brewery and proud of it. They don't have flagship beer and don't want flagships. No. They, they believe, quote, that what people like to drink changes depending on the time of the year. The type of foods they are available in the local markets, the weather, and even their moods, end quote. Because of that, they strive to provide a seasonal selection that's always fresh and reflects what they think drinkers will be looking for at each time of the year. So, our first up today is the Papa Bois. If you don't know it, go search that. That's a B O I S, Papa B O I S. It's a Caribbean tradition, and this beer we're drinking is a citrus foreign extra strout, part of Mystery's summer lineup. And Mystery says in this beer, the Caribbean has a long tradition of sweet, fruity stouts that are delicious and refreshing hot weather. While continuing that tradition, we've upped the ante on refreshing by adding lemongrass and fresh lemon zest. So first we're gonna drink the Papa Bois. So we're drinking a stout in the summer. A stout in the summer. But it's citrusy. Well, and, and, and <laughs> don't go too far along those lines because okay. as, as <laughs> Glenn said and Mystery said, Four extra stouts have been around for a long time, and you know Guinness, Murphy's, a lot of the traditional stout makers actually make a specific stout just to send to tropical climates okay. to be fresh and refreshing. Okay. So even though it's dark, it can still be a nice summer beer. Okay, well, true. true. Well, well, let's see. We'll find that out, won't we? He got a great pour. He got okay, a good I'll pour. Have a pour on that. <laughs> um, a little malt. Yeah, but still very stouty in the aroma. Yeah. Stouty. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it smells like a stout. It looks a little stouty, too. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, this is really, I mean, it's very, very but I'm not thick. Getting, Can't see through it. <laughs> no. it's, a, it's a stout. I, I, right? What I meant by it, but I don't get the lemongrass <laughs> summary. Yeah. I don't get that in okay. the aroma. It's, no. it's very stouty. <laughs> yeah. um, it definitely, the, the aroma does have some, like, graham cracker crust, some, like, roasty kind of yeah. nothing you would expect in a stout. Okay. Right. Right. Yep. You would expect yep. that in a stout. Now, the flavor is totally different than the looks. In fact, that's <laughs> yes, yes. you do. It's, uh, the, the, Deception. The, because the... the, the uh, A mystery, as it were. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good. <laughs> so we're going to invite him back more. He's very dirty from the camera. We like this. Uh, the, the, uh, the zestiness and the citrus does come through. Even the darkness of the style is still there, but th that comes through mm -hmm. very, very nicely, I think. Yeah. It... it there, there is some of that like citrus that kind of cuts through what mm -hmm. you would normally see as a sweet. It, it's, it's very different, but the analogy in my mind is like, if you can think of a, um, a tart like blackberry cobbler with ice cream. It's right. that sweet and creamy with a little tart that balances and mm -hmm. cuts, cuts through mm -hmm. that, that thickness. Yeah, I mean, you, you look at it, you, I mean, normally for the summer, the first thing you think about with beers is going to be the golden, the golden beers, lagers and such. And now you got a dark beer, which is a stout, and you taste it, and it's your mind is in a conflict. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. basically, it's like I'm th I'm seeing dark, but you're drinking it. I I'd say you're drinking light because it's got such a it's it cleans up well. It's got such a lighter flavor, not lighter meaning body wise, lighter meaning that it you it's not a rich flavor that is going to bring you down and think of October. It's November. just not heavy, right? In, in exactly. its in its appeal it actually oh, is the lemon kind of still kind of heavy it's a heavy beer 
But it's a lot going on here still. Yeah, there's a lot going on. But it, it, it's a full-bodied beer, but it doesn't coat your mouth. Right. It's not like I put it down and I'm still tasting stout and you know a half hour later. It, it, it's pretty clean in that respect, and it, maybe a little bit of that kind of, again, coffee roasty in the aftertaste, right. but really easy to drink. I love the lemongrass on it. All right, we got two to do, one take. So um, let's rate this one. I'm thinking, uh, for me, it's probably a bomber. Yep, I'm a bomber. What do you think, John? Bomber as well. That's three, very easy to drink. Three yeah. bombers for the Papa Bois out of mystery. Yep. And we're going to cleanse our palate and move on to our second beer of the day. I'm going to get that one back, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, off camera, we do a lot more drinking than we do yeah. on camera. Yeah. So we're going to cleanse our palate between yeah. the stout and the Berliner Weiss. Our second beer from mystery today is the Wanderer Moon. Yeah, they didn't tell me that this was double duty when they invited me. <laughs> The Wanderer Moon is a Blender Vice, as I said, it's part of the Mystery Novella series. Mystery says, quote, they found their own way to put a twist on this traditional Berliner Weiss. Unlike a traditional Blender Weiss, this beer has absolutely no wheat in it. It does, however, contain a bit of flaked barley and golden naked oats, as compared to clothed oats, for a rich, full body underlying the tart, crisp, deliciousness of this sour ale. They use their house Saison yeast to ferment the beer, lending a tropical fruitiness, creating a twist, <laughs> twist, a thirst quenching beer with notes of rhubarb <laughs> and mango mm -hmm. that you will unlikely find anywhere else. Well. So again, it seems like there's a lot going on here. We've got a blender of ice with no wheat, with some oats, barley, Rhubarb, mango, and a sour ale and a saison yeast. It's kind of yeah, I've got my mind's blown already. I can hardly imagine what it's going to be like. Well, it's mm -hmm. almost the other end of the spectrum from the stack yes. we just tried. So yep. you know that's that'll make an interesting contrast. But the color is beautiful. It is. I, it's so appealing. You know, it's a light, light golden color, but not like a a, a lager gold. Mm -hmm. It's kind of got oh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> a little gold, a little orange to it. <laughs> yeah, it, um, almost like straw. Yes, is, is the the, yep. the color that comes to mind. And I gotta admit, it's gonna be a hard sell because I am a, a, a I love the German styles. Okay, right? even the traditional Berliner Weiss. So, uh, so you know, gone to, off the beaten path, he's gonna have a little bit of a challenge right. to sell you on this. No weed in that. The pure stylist. This, in, this innovative. Yep. Yeah, but I definitely Weiss. get that. Uh, that sort of mango citrusy in the in the nose. Yep. Yes. Yep. Anyway. Very much a sour. You know it's sour coming at you and tart. You know that's yeah, coming. You at the, you. Yeah. The aroma does equate to that one. Oh, wow. Oh. Uh, it it was a tough sell, but it no, it, it sold. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's it's, awesome. Wow. Sour Patch Kids. Hmm. Oh. I, it's so different from, I mean, really. Right. Now, we actually haven't done sours because sours really isn't a beer style. So, um, this is a lot different. And some of the Berlin devices that I've had were more toned down, I guess, in the flavor. They, they, yeah, that's they, they, certainly, this, what, this one has certainly a, what I've had is yeah, not this. This, is, this has a nice tart punch to it. Now, how does it fit to a traditional? Um, well, in in you know in Berlin, where the Berliner Weiss or Berliner Weiss style came about, uh, um, it's meant to be a summer drink. It should be very refreshing, effervescent, typically low alcohol, mm -hmm. right? And it should be you know the equivalent of like an adult Sprite or or right. punch, right? Mm -hmm. This much sourness and tartness. Well, I think you know f for for my taste. I'd like it if it were a little bit more carbonated, you know, if it were a little bit more effervescent, that would take down the perception of, of sourness, mm. right? It, it would give you a little bit more mouthfeel and that carbonic acid would kind of balance. But yeah, I've seen uh, Berliner Weisses this sour before. Um, and, and for that reason, over in Germany, they actually serve it with a syrup, right? Okay. Either a Woodruff or a raspberry style syrup. That's the red or green. Right. Okay, right. To cut that sourness, to make it a little bit more 
um, palatable. You can drink two or three of these without any problem. And you actually put the syrup when you order. You ask for a shot of or like right. a topping. They just put a. Actually, you add a table side to your taste. Okay. Um, but I gotta tell you, with the the citrus and mango notes on this, yeah. it does a nice job of balancing some of that tartness and that sourness, mm -hmm. um, even without that kind of syrupy. It is tart. Don't get me wrong. I, I think for me, the, I'd rather have it not as effervescent because the way the tart is. Um, this for if it was you know basically meant for the summer, it's easier drinking when you add more effervescence and more prickly mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. Then it's harder to go down. You're mm -hmm kind of regulating yourself because you got so much going on in your mouth, mm -hmm. where this, the tartness just quenches your thirst. That's certainly true. I mean, you know, it might look a little odd walking around your backyard with a, with a <laughs> but yeah. this is kind of that classic lawnmower style beer, right? So I have my it's lawnmower. hot outside. I want to be refreshed. Don't right? go in your yard. Come on. This. Do not go in Come your on. yard. Come on. Please serve yard. me my this after my lawnmower. <laughs> yeah. So I walk around the lawnmower like this. <laughs> um, ratings, gentlemen, I think for me, this is probably just a bottle because it's not my style at all. Okay. Uh, it's, it would be, I like it. I think it's, it's what he said it was going to be. I wouldn't give him credit for that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not going to sell him and drink a lot of this. What do you guys think? I'm giving this. You're going to growl. I'm going to growl only uh, because it was, it caught me off guard so much and the flavor and just that the, the drinkability and I, it, it just, I just, the way, the way it is so different mm -hmm. and it did what he said it was going to do in a very good way. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to probably go right in the middle of y'all. See, <laughs> the, so um, the first beer we're all just alike and the second beer we're all over the board. Right. Yeah. Well, and you know, I'm thinking in terms of, you know, it's hot out today. If you were grilling over the backyard or sitting by the pool, you'd easily go through a growler of this stuff, mm -hmm. you know, with your friends or whatever. Right. If you're just sitting around in the shade, maybe only a bottle or two. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go with the bomber on this. Good. So we're all over the place, and that's good. Everybody's palate's what everybody's palate is. Yep, that's right. Um, the guys at Mystery, Eric and Chris, would love to know what you think of their beers, so make the effort to get out to Hillsboro and try their beers, and they've got a, always got something interesting going on in Mystery. Yep. Hit up the public house. The public house on Nash Street in Hillsboro. Yep. And remember, until next time, uh, drink local, keep your beer dogs North Carolina, and we'll catch you later, guys.